What's up, guys? It's Chris. Vecna is here, and you know what that means. It's time for the most toxic Vecna build. For the add-ons, we are running the Vorpal Sword to break pallets with our Mage Hand and make survivors hit with our Sphere Broken, and the Bag of Holding to make two chest guaranteed mimics just because. For the perks, we have Enduring to make pallet stuns much shorter, Hubris to make survivors who stun us exposed, Devour to be able to instant out in Mori survivors after hooks 3 and 5, and Undying to protect our Devour a bit. This build is mean, but man, is it a blast. But uh, I'll stop talking about it and let you guys see for yourselves. All right, guys, we're back with another fresh video for you guys. And it feels good. I'm not going to lie. It feels good to be back. We are going to be doing the most toxic Vecna, as you guys saw in the intro and the title and probably the thumbnail. Oh, there we go. So that's one of our two mimics already injured right there on the sable. Very nice. I'm going to see what she's up to, see if we can cut her off a little bit. Very nice. The sooner we can get this down and get Devour rolling, the better, obviously. Uh, one neat little thing you could do with Vecna, you can actually spawn the skeletons right on top of people. And it's pretty much completely unavoidable. There's just, like, nothing they can do at all. And it's one thing that I've been doing on the stream a lot in our win streak, which, if you guys want to check that out, link to the stream's always in the description below. But enough plugging that. Either way, we are back to the actual video. And I'm going to get away from that hook right away, see if we can get our Devour stack as soon as possible. One nice little thing about this add-on, too, this Eerie, is if we hit somebody who's injured with it... Uh, they'll be broken for 30 seconds and won't be able to heal. But it looks like they didn't quite get that unhook in time. Not when I wanted them to, anyway. Oh, well. That's okay. I would really like to be getting some enduring hubris value here so I could show off the mage hand a little bit to you guys. I think that'd be really fun. Let's see. Maybe... Okay, nice. They did not get the full god window there, which is beautiful. That stuff's decision, always annoying. Decision. Get a nice little M1 there. Oh, in that red arena. See if she tries to play the pallet this time. Very nice. Dude, that undying value just from the ore reading alone was fantastic. So that's going to be our second stack of Devour already. They haven't popped a gen or anything yet, so I'm feeling pretty good about our odds. Again, we're just going to use that fly right away to get away from the hook. And get out of devour range so that uh, we can let that get stalked up once they get the unhook. Uh, got that guy right here. I'm guessing that's got to be our Sable who we've already hooked once. Wouldn't be a bad idea to go for her again. There we go. Look at that. Look at that info. Look at that. Hit her right through the wall. No way for her to react to that at all. Kind of rhymed right there. Maybe I should become a rapper. What am I doing with the, the DVD stuff? I'm just kidding. No, my raps would suck ass. I'm not going to lie. Either way, this will be our last stack of Devour before we can start instant outing. And that is going to be disgusting. Sadly, we didn't get too much value out of Hubris here. I guess our downs are just quick enough because of how strong Vecna is with this, uh, this add-on combo and everything. I mean, that mimic right off the bat was insane. And we get two of those guaranteed with this add-on. This is just awesome. Two guaranteed mimics. There's our second one. We found her right there. Looks like she just got injured. She is sitting by her undying totem. Um, what can we do? She's going right up the stairs. Very risky. Oh my goodness. Well, they're going to know about Devour unless I can... Yeah. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that guy right there. On our undying. Oh my goodness. I have the mage hand ready to go, so I'm just going to get ready to block that pallet if he runs towards it. He noticed way too late what was going on. God, the value you get from... That's going to be five stacks once they get these two unhooks already, by the way. The value you get from just undying alone has been amazing. I've been running it a lot also, uh, again, like I said, in my win streak build, and... I've been loving that build a lot, too, so I'll probably be doing another video on that soon enough that you guys will be able to check out here. Probably try to do it off stream, uh, just for you guys, you know. Maybe maybe some of you guys don't just like the, the content from the stream. I'll, I'll definitely still be posting some of those here and there, but uh, that is our Undying Gone. So all we have left is that Devour, which she was looking at. But unfortunately for her, it looks like she's not going to be able to get that in time. Hold them. 
That's not what we want to do. So that pallet's going to break immediately now, thanks to our eerie add-on. Uh, can't quite make that. Uh-oh. She messed up pretty good there. I'm going to just take this hook. Oh, you know, we got a Mori already. So I'm going to I'm gonna pop her down over here so we can enjoy Vecna's awesome Mori together. Boom. Not our fifth stack, but I put on a Mori as our offering. So there we go. Come on, Sable. God. What an insane Mori he's got, man. It's so good. Yo, I will occasionally poop on the devs. You guys might know that by now. But, man, as far as their design team goes and everything, it is just top-notch. Seriously, it is. There's 30 seconds of broken on both of them. Uh, she did have E. So I'll just cast a spell. Oh, my, I actually ran out of mouse pad there. I thought I was going to miss. <laughs> and she is dead, too. So I'll try to get her in the middle of the street for another good Mori. Four gents is pretty early for a, such a decisive win here. Did see a fella. Yes, he's. There we go. He's got his sprint fast perk. Very nice. That'll get us a confirmed hit because can't make as much distance that way. Very nice. And why not just take our Mori? We'll come back for him in a sec. Oh, wow. Really fast pickup. She was ready for that. Uh, May Chance should be able to buy us. Oh, uh oh. Maybe Chance should be able to bias this uh, down for sure. There we go. No E button to worry about because she already used it and missed it. So that is going to be Mori number two. I am going to still try and bring her up to the street here. I'm telling you guys, though, I've just been having a blast with this killer. Uh, it's been so much fun, and the win streak's been going pretty good, too. I Seriously, there's just so much stuff on this killer that I've been running that's just a blast. Here we go. Mori number two. Hey, get that flash out of my face. Look at this. Man, that's a good Mori. DVD really knows what they're doing when it comes to making stuff look amazing. Seriously. There we go. Head towards our Steve there. What's he going to be up to? Okay, this looks like a confirmed down. Yep, look at that. Spawned it right on top of him. Just very, very difficult to react to. If you can, somehow just crouch before the Vecna spawns him without any audio cue. A props to you. But, yeah, being able to spawn those right on top of people is a deadly power. I love it. I can't get enough of it. I really thought that the uh, skeletons were just awful when I first started playing him. And, man, I've changed my mind ever since I learned that little trick. Very, very, very solid. Good game, buddy. You have an E? Wow, she was patient. Jesus. There we go. We'll probably queue up another game here for you guys just so we can get a little bit more feel for the build. Show it off to you guys a little bit more, but I do love it. I I, I didn't really get to show off the Enduring or Hubris at all, but uh, great example of how to use his power and stuff at the very least. I hope you guys at least like that. Second game, let's get more hubris. And I know some of you guys out there do like seeing the builds of the people I play against, so there you go, real quick. Okay, Garden of Joy, a really tough map for killer. A ton of pallets, so I'm sure we'll be seeing some nice enduring hubris value here. Hopefully a little bit of devour on top of it, you know? You can never complain about a little extra devour happening for you. Man, I, I do love getting value out of that perk on killer, I can't lie to you. I know it feels terrible for the survivors, but... Joy. There we go. Nice little hit there. Uh, might be able to get a really quick down here. Didn't vault the window, but nice little M1. I'll probably just throw it right up top there, to be honest. I think I saw the Ada hit the Mimic over there. So we got one Mimic there. You know, actually, I'll throw a basement. And then we'll head right up to the top of this building and pressure them off that gen. I think that sounds like our best play. There you go, Jane. Once we get up here, I'm going to pop my fly, and I'm just going to head right up top. Like the crows. Like the crows. Hello. I just flew with you. What do you think about that, Claudette? Yeah, we're out of devour range now, so there'll be one stalk right away. Nice. Fought enough time 
to get a free hit. She can't make anything. I did get her undying, but it's going to be two stacks already. Already two hooks this early on is extremely, extremely good. And they'll have to find the other totem, which they might. Again, that means they spent a lot of time looking for totems. And fortunately for me, this build is totally down for that. We got Enduring Hubris, and uh, it'll it'll be more than enough to help us in chase. That's going to make them broken if it hits them there. Did not. Jane's going to be right here. Interesting. I would like to go for this healthy one and try to get stunned if we can. Looks like she's going to be taking Shack though, which obviously you never need to use the pallet here. I very rarely need to use the pallet here. Nice little hit. Um, what are we going to do about that, Ada? You can just use Enduring on its own, obviously, as well, but I'm just going to break that with our Eerie add-on. Keep it chugging. But yeah, you can also just use Enduring by itself. I just don't want to show my hand with the hubris yet. That's unlucky. She was definitely looking to use that pallet and <laughs> got blocked by the locker. That's disgusting. The crazy thing there is if somebody else, if one of their teammates was there, if I would have got that locker grab, they could have just saved with the pallet immediately. That would have annoyed me so much. Because that's just terrible spawn. Hello, Jane. All right, maybe this is the chance. Maybe this is our chance for our enduring hubris. Jane, I believe in you. Show me what you got. I'm actually going to fly after her here. Oh, right through the window. All right. Oh, they found my devour. Jane's got to die now. Oh, damn. Right past her. Oops. Yeah, Jane's absolutely got to die now that she knows where my totem's at. That is unfortunate for you, buddy. But pretty good for me. Boop. That was unlucky. Three stacks of devour already. This is going to be number four after they unhook Jane. Uh, I definitely want to get her a little farther away from that totem if I can, so at least I can run back and take her out. Uh-oh. Ada's not moving. Bonk. She's going to be stack number five, I guess. Not bad. <laughs> not having a good time there, buddy. <laughs> Let's get you up here. God, I love Vecna. I just... He's so much fun, dude. Just super cool theme and everything, too. That was a really fast unhook. Let me get out of range! Yes! We did it. Get him! I mean, we do want Jane to absolutely die. That's going to be fifth stack of Devour, and Claudette is big boring. <laughs> she hasn't even been, like, a scene yet, I don't think. Oh my goodness. Good game, Claudette. I hope you enjoy your time here. It's time for you to go. <laughs> That's gonna feel so bad, dude. Oh, man. Say goodbye to your skin. <laughs> that is horrifying. Jesus. Yeah, that broken on them, too. Oh, there we go. Hello, Ada. Would you like to go next? Uh, one sec. Just wanna take a quick peek around. All right, Ada, it's your turn, buddy. Farewell indeed, Vecna. Wow, we kind of speed ran this one. God, I love Devour so much. Seriously, I really do. Well, hopefully in some of your guys' games, you get stunned by a pallet once or twice. I don't know what the hell was going on here, but uh, I did try to record this a couple more times to get ourselves a nice little uh, hubris enduring play, but... Uh, Looks like tonight it's not quite in the cards. I do definitely encourage you guys to try for yourselves and let me know how it works out for you, though. Oh, I just saw Ada hop into a locker right here. Interesting move. Not what I would have done. You're next, Ada. That's all that means to me. Mori number three, buddy. <laughs> Enough. I don't, I don't think she's been hooked, has she? This one? Oh, my goodness. Goodbye, Ada. Watch the hat spawn right on us, too. Just the icing on the cake. That'd be amazing. <laughs> no way! She was never hooked there. <laughs> I just called that. That's ridiculous. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys are awesome. I definitely miss making videos and stuff. And we're going to be back. Looks like there's going to be a lot more content and stuff for us to be looking forward to here. Especially with Vector just dropping. You are very dead, Jade. Didn't even give me the med kit. It's Toxic Vecna, bro. I wouldn't have cared. But we'll leave you off on this fourth Mori, guys. You guys are amazing. Make sure to come hang out in the stream if you guys do want to see uh, a lot more consistent content. I'm going to be trying to get back to doing videos as much as I can, but, you know, sometimes I just don't have the best idea and I just don't want to put out some crap. Uh, that's what it comes down to. Either way, I will catch you guys in the next one.